So this is the unpacking video of the backpack and everything that I had with me on the trip in the Alps one month into rail. So I'll just talk you through. This is a Dutch Army backpack, one main compartment and it has two side pouches. Here on the front you see the trolley that I explained in, a, in the previous video. Yeah, to help move the backpack around without having to carry it. Um, there was also this hiking pole, which also functioned as the tent pole. Um, then I had this bag. This was kind of somehow a travel bag. This is um, Austrian army, a bit modified. I will unpack this first. Frisbee, obviously. Ultimate Frisbee uh, is one of the best things you can do out of plastic. And then inside here, a ditty bag with headlamp, toothbrush, toothpaste, candle, um, some dices, and what is there? Soap, some string, a little bit of repairs, a mirror, pen and paper, that kind of things. Um, Diary, passports, in a, in a cotton bag that I waxed myself. Uh, first aid kit with tourniquet. This is the bigger first aid kit. Um, binoculars, yeah, used many, many, many times. Uh, really happy that I took those. Yeah, I, oh, the first aid kit, I, of course, obviously I took it because I'm skilled uh, and trained in first aid. Uh, also like a bit more complex stuff and I feel it's a responsibility when you're trying to carry the stuff not for you but for others in case you need to help or have an opportunity to help I always think it's an opportunity to help so I carry more first aid than I would personally carry um, but yeah don't regret carrying this um, water bottle basically what I never used was all this yeah this is a uh, a cozy uh, made of wool by my mother greetings and gratitude inside here is uh, a bigger metal cup which I actually which we used uh, with the immersion heater to to um, make some uh, hot meals what I didn't use is the um, the hanger to hang this now jean bottle over the fire uh metal straw didn't use and a long spoon actually didn't use but i carried these anyway um because when you're a month away one month of traveling so many things can happen and like you know i i simply thought like okay it might be that i have to um i don't know take care to of, of my son and myself and and do uh, i don't know some kind of off-grid life kind of of the uh, kind of spontaneously so I wanted to have more than I obviously would need for an interrail trip we had intention to do some camping and we did some camping and so we carried all the camping stuff we also carried fishing stuff uh, then there is well you'll see so water bottle obviously saw a lot of use um, what else is there phone charger hand disinfectant a really good first aid book from the Wilderness Medical Associates. Highly recommend this little booklet. Uh, obviously the training and the courses. A um, space blanket and some very thin plastic sheeting for making a, a Moskohansky super shelter. Uh, ever since I've slept in a super shelter, I don't see, uh, I, I find it really good to always carry this. Um, yeah, and then some nuts and raisins, a little pocket fishing kit, uh, which haven't been used. And then I have, uh, this is a, some sil nylon uh, bag, I guess something like 20 or 30 liters, which um, I've used for, for shopping uh, and dumpster diving. So this bag is empty now. Um, yeah, nothing special on this bag, just some modifications, but I don't want to go into detail here. So let's start at the bottom. Here is, uh, I believe it's Dutch Army isolation mattress um, cut to three quarter length. I really, really like this pad. It's like a closed cell foam. It's been really robust, has given me many good nights of sleep. <coughs> 
inside here yeah the fishing rod uh this is actually an item that i once bought new uh also heavily modified um you can see there is this normal uh float and hook system and sinker and then there is another string which is like a fly fishing setup so we did use this quite a lot uh, it was very nice to to do some fly fishing in mountain creeks uh, i'm very happy that i took this okay let's continue on this side inside this bag is the tent um this is uh, a lux mini peak xl or something like this um with the inner tent and uh altogether i think i spent five nights in this um so yeah good to have taken it i would have preferred a tarp and and like a simple isolate like a mosquito head net but i wanted to provide some more privacy uh and kind of a cozy home for my son so that's why i carried the tent but otherwise i would have gone for the tarp um you see on this side this backpack comes with these side pouches or rocket pouches rocket bags um actually what i do have here is uh well the backpack itself is dutch army these rocket pockets they are british army uh, i modified this to carry a frisbee here uh, this was very often my day pack over oh, here this will be returned to the un zoo library the lonely planet which of uh, central europe didn't use this book really at all should have not taken it i guess so this is a bit modified it has a, like another pocket inside and it already has this uh, carrying system these straps attached to it um, and from two of these rocket pockets you can uh, make quite a nice day pack of i don't know what how many liters so you can zip them together move this a bit over um so this is empty now also and i will unpack this side pocket now most of this stuff we did not use okay so let's go um yeah um a platypus um that i just took to have uh, capacity to carry uh, one more liter of water um this is uh, some fishing equipment that we did use so there's a little um, a net for um, you know getting the um, fish out of the water and some some line and some hooks some flies and there will be some stuff like this uh, that I didn't take with me on the journey but stuff that I brought back when we were staying at my parents place these are actually uh, some Christmas candles that were left there um, they contain 10% beeswax uh, I thought, okay, I just take these with me. Nobody else is using them, and actually, it's exactly the same mixture as the as the G wax of um, of uh, Fjallraven to to wax cotton stuff. Uh, then I always carry a ten liter bucket. I didn't use it this time. Would take it again. Like it gives you so much freedom to camp away from the water sources, so you can carry water somewhere else, and that's a really really good thing to have um also didn't use i don't know if i would take it again because i also have the uh the pocket fishing system uh this is a ice hole winter fishing system but it's really nice to use from from uh from jetties marinas harbors even from bridges or boats uh, it goes vertically down you have very good feel control over the hook i really like this thing um yeah then there is uh a travel uh, shovel thingy um, yeah for making poop holes for digging worms for making a trench around the um, like a water trench around the tent uh, I actually did use it we used it by the beach we were playing uh, by the beach so um, maybe it wasn't totally necessary but um, yeah I I grown used to carry this um, especially when I'm with groups um, and there's a higher likelihood of having to dig a proper toilet hole for someone um very simple mora knife mora style knife this one is made by hulta force it's a carbon steel blade i really like these knives this is what i um use it with my groups a uh, very robust knife strong um quite sharp easy to keep sharp 
Then there is a Soya water filter with another liter of water. Um, a bag that I, I show the water filter. This is the Soya water filter. I would carry this again. Uh, we didn't use it. We found so much really, really nice water. Um, but again, like it's it's the idea to to be able to um, to provide safe water. Um, I don't know, is that the proper mindset? I have no idea. Um, a funny bag that I once found um, on a toilet. There is some like little bit of hand disinfectant in here and a bit of toilet paper. We didn't use this ever at all. Um, but yeah, I think uh, good to carry. Also this did not see any use. I would also take it again. Um, yeah, it's a kind of like the um, MSR stowaway pot, but this is made by Zebra Head Company of Thailand. Um, very nice pot, black pot. It's probably the pot I use the most. Inside a container with salt and a trangia burner. This is like the original trangia burner. Um, yeah, very nice pot and stove setup. Um, also, I took a slightly more robust wood stove. This is the uh, Savota Big Bad stove. Um, and the Trangia fits really nicely inside here. So the Savota Big Bad wood stove, a lot of freedom, uh, safety somehow, peace of mind to have a proper proper stove, good setup. Um, and with the Trangia, it would also work inside the tent quite well or with the doors open, even with twigs. Uh, a bottle of fuel we didn't use it yeah um, but maybe a smaller bottle could have done it um, waterproof map case um, again also this we didn't use but um, it would have been good to have in case because we didn't really know what we are going to do when we are in the Alps what are we going to what activities do we go hiking into the mountains and then I would have really liked to be ha have something to protect the map in a, in a proper way. Uh, some power cord and bicycle inner tube. And um, then there is uh, a little kind of survival kit where there's... Yeah, everything in it. Didn't use it. Um, and to be honest, some of this stuff is double. I have some of this stuff in the ditty bag also. Um, so I could have taken some time uh, in preparation and sort through this stuff and make it a bit lighter. Um, oh, by the way, uh, the whole load, the whole backpack, everything together um, was 20.5 kilos when we left here. Um, and then plus this bag that I just emptied in the beginning. So this is empty now also. And I continue with the backpack. Um, so I start with this pouch here, so um, a nice flintstone I found by the beach, the headlamp, um, uh, some nuts and raisins, and then there is a cotton bag and a waxed handkerchief that I use for, you know, when gathering food or packing something. Uh, both of these have been used in this trip. Um, something that I bought on the way because we uh, needed it um, um, is this sun lotion. I feel a bit weird about it because first of all it's a new chemical product and the other thing is like it could have been avoided by just choosing not to make activities in the burning sun or dress long and so. Uh, so it was mostly my son that needed it. Um, I applied some of it in the mountains um, oh, here is the immersion heater. Yeah, very nice thing when backpacking. This is like, um, I bought this in India once, long, long, long time ago. Um, but it seems more powerful than some of the big ones that I have also had before. It's a bit like, you can see, it uh, doesn't look as safe, but I mean, like, basically this thing is already a short circuit. So what, what else can go wrong with it? Um, quite good. Um, what else is here? Oh, here is the um, like a folding saw. 
Um, didn't use it, but would carry it again. This I picked up on the way, a nice container for some, um, I don't know what. And this one is also empty now. So now opening the main compartment. Here is a foldable solar panel. Um, used it a couple of times. Wasn't really necessary. There was electricity everywhere. But uh, at least this is green electricity and also uh, provides a little bit of safety in case of some um, grid failures or so. Then something that I picked up on the way um, in a hiking store or army shop in the Netherlands. A really nice rain poncho. It looks like it hasn't seen any use. Um, quite a good price for it. I know this poncho, it's a really nice poncho, this Dutch army poncho. So I'm happy to have this. Um, what else? Um, wool jacket. Uh, used it a couple of times. Wasn't totally necessary. We'll probably carry it again um, just to have a backup for warmth. Um, then there is uh, one my sarong and a shirt. Sarong and a shirt, probably like the two clothing items that I use the most in the summer. Um, so, yeah. Um, but in the train and so now I use the, the shorts. But um, sarong and shirt is like really, really good. I love, I love the sarong. It's so versatile, so simple, so unbelievably comfy to wear. Uh, I'm wearing another sarong here right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I feel that trousers and underpants underneath in the summer is just like annoying, and you need to do a lot more laundry. And yeah, not not for me. Swimming pants. A little bag that I picked up in the army shop there. Um, yeah, uh, reflective vest. I would take it again. Um, didn't use it, but it just can provide so much safety to be able to create visibility. Uh, also, in case um, of some survival situations, you can rip it to pieces and leave a nice trail behind that can easily be found and followed to find you in an area so yeah would we'll definitely carry it again also if we had to do some hitchhiking in the dark i would have used this one um some covid tests here yeah um what's in here i guess more candles yes more of these candles um an empty empty side pocket liner bag that we use sometimes Okay, uh, there comes a big food bag, leftover food apparently, um, kind of this dry storage backup food, like easily food for three days for my son and me. So um, yeah, I always like to carry at least one extra day of food. So that was good. Then um, a, like a kind of uh, jacket, like a forest jacket. Um, my work jacket uh, made by, I believe, Hjellraven, obviously picked up second hand, uh, waxed in some areas, really like this jacket. Uh, in the pocket there is Tinder pocket and in this pocket is a small compass and a, um, um, like a, a, a salve for, for wounds and stuff, made of pine bar, a pine uh, pitch. And um, and the mosquito head net also in this in this bag. Um, one little sleeping bag, like I carried as a backup to provide extra warmth if there were cold nights in the mountains. We didn't really use it, but because I had it with me, I used it. It's less warm than the other sleeping bag that I had, and sometimes that was quite nice to have. Um, yeah, my towel. I love these. Uh, thin linen towels, they dry really fast, have a nice style to it and um, have a good size, very packable and not, not so smelly, stinky as these hiking towels. Um, rain jacket, um, I think British Army, very lightweight, use it a couple of times. Um, sleeping bag liner. Yeah, this is the cotton liner that I use actually at home every day. Um, but it's um, 
yeah, it's not as as light. Maybe I um, need to pause this video and or make a second video. I will. There's some visitors coming.